Hello girls and welcome back to Art Tutorial 4D. I think it's 4D? Yes, 4D. <clears throat> Excellent girls, so that was A, B, C, yes, and that is D. Right girls, so last time we did the tummy section of the robin bird. And um, let me just look quickly. Yes, there we go. So... There's our robin bird. As you know, your teacher, she always needs to <laughs> work a little bit on the section she did previously. So I just want to lighten that little leg a bit there. Great. So girls, now today we are doing the wing. And for the wing, we shall need the following colors. Right. So, it, so we'll need black and gray let's take this nice darkest blue which is number 24 okay then we go to the browns the van Dijk brown and the number eight brown we go to the ochre and this um, pale brown number seven we go to the purple and the old rose and we've got the white as well. Yes. There we go. I think that should do. Maybe a bit of yellow there too. Let's see this nice um, number two, which is chrome yellow. Excellent, girls. So we've got all our colors now. So as I mentioned before, we always do start with the darkest colors just to establish our structure right so so we see this wing great so so these there are all those little wings up there lovely highlights there let me use my pencil so they've got lovely highlights there one two three four which we must definitely bring in and then we've got that dark structure, that tiny wing there. Okay. And then we've got another one underneath. Then we've got that one there, which goes quite pointy. And within that, there's tiny little lines. Probably rows of feathers, long feathers. And then we've got that structure, also tiny lines in. And then there's a bigger shape and a bigger shape. And there's that lovely old rose color, purples, blacks, and browns, and ochres. Okay, great. So, so let's just establish those shapes. So here I'll start with that. Oh, can you see? Okay, so I'll start with these feathers here. Great. So you've got, you've got that little feather there. And then we've got that one there. We've got that one underneath, right? We've got this bigger one here, which has actually got a lot of little lines in it. So I'm not too sure if you have Googled the birdie yourself, because then you can also see very clearly. Okay, and then we've got... Let's start from the back. If things get confusing, you always jump to where it's easy. So there's one, two, three basic shapes. Let's get that back one. That's that one. Okay, so that goes like that. One. And then there's the next one. Okay. Two. Great. And then there's that one, and within that one there are a few lines. Okay, so girls, let's just see how to do this. Actually, you know, if we if we put those little lines in now very carefully, it doesn't have to be perfect, just to think of texture again. Okay. There we go, and you can put that little there. 
lines there and these little lines in that one okay thinking of the direction right can you see thinking of the direction great and then let's put some lines in there too little lines Okay, but now here there is quite a shadow under there, so we're going to darken that a bit. And then there's a shadow for that little wing, for that wing, and that wing. Okay, so, so let's actually do those first, so we, so we don't get too confused. Okay, and then very, very lightly with the black, just very lightly. We don't want to go too dark, we draw in the other little ones too. Right. Great. Okay, so what I'm going to do now, because I don't want to lose these lovely highlights, one, two, three, four, I'm actually going to put them in with this light color, girls. Pale brown. So I'm jumping ahead. Because sometimes, as we've noticed, once you've put in a darker color, it can be tricky to go back to light again. So we're going to go with white over it, just so we know where they are. We don't lose them. Okay, a little trick off the trade. There we go. So we've established those little highlights there. Great. So now, how do we do this? Let's start at the very beginning. Hey, <laughs> famous words. Was it Mary Poppins, I think? Yes. There we go. So let's do a bit of shading there. As we focus on those little leaves, we do a bit of shading there. There's brown, there's brown in all of these leaves. Oh, I mean, leaves, feathers. So we can't go wrong. Okay. So we do that. Go over, a bit of texture. Always establishing that's a feather, that's a feather. Right. And here... Okay, so let's just do those few for now. Right. Okay, I also haven't color shaded this big one before, so I am just doing this large color toning robin for the first time too. So we, so we just, so you can see how I do this as we, as I go along. Also, just finding out what is the best way to do it. Hey. So we're working with a bit of purple as an undertone. Okay, add this lovely ochre. There we go. Oops. Yes, can't go wrong with ochre. Nice texture. Okay, there's definitely some old rows in there too. Of that so we just find our way going over it with different tones till we're happy with it okay there we can do that working into it with our selection of tones i mean different colors a bit of gray keep those nice stripes okay this feather here Okay, those little ones, I hope you are following, getting the feel for it, can you see, okay, no shadows being cast, no reflections of the neon light, there, so let's just establish that little feather up there again, okay, so let's just make these highlights a bit lighter here before we lose them, okay, Right. Okay, so we'll go in with our brown again. Just thinking of feather and nice texture. Hey. Take this darker brown there. Okay, and art you'll find your own way. Just kind of this is a point of departure and suddenly you just have the knack for it. 
Okay, so we're going to put in a bit of blue for for depth. Okay, so starting to see something is starting to happen here. More definition. You can always go back and re-establish our shapes if they get lost a bit. This one here, there's a definite feather shape there. Definite one there, right? And obviously, you can always rewind these videos, and it doesn't have to look exactly like mine because we're all unique. Your very own personality will come through, and I'm just giving you, like I say, kind of a point of departure to work from. And my famous words, you can also use your artistic license and create your very own delightful little tonal robin using these kind of suggestions and instructions that I'm giving you just to kind of get you going. Okay, there we go. And then we bring in some lines again. And there's quite a nice bit of purple in here, as you can see. I don't know if you can see. Nice bit of purple. So now we're just building up our confidence of these little ones before we move on to the others. So we know where, where we're going, what we're doing. Okay, so... So there we go. So let's move on to this larger, this larger feather there. Okay, so I'm taking my Van Dyke brown. Okay, actually, let me put in that those lovely highlights before I lose them. There's some nice lighter tones there, which I don't want to. I don't want them to get lost in the darker colours. Okay, so we just and then we just work around that. Even the following one, the next feather also lovely lighter tones. Right. There we go. Are we still on? Yes. There we go. Okay. So now we take this nice red brown and we just work into those lines. It's actually nice doing these feathers. One gets a sense of freedom, the association of feathers and freedom, especially in this lockdown time. I'm thoroughly enjoying doing these feathers. So a robin birdie can fly wherever it wants to, but we can't, hey? <laughs> Never mind, this shall also pass, hey? Right, so there we go. Looking right down. Okay, so we can see <clears throat> it's quite darker at the bottom. So he's bringing that and goes quite pointy there. And then there's a bit of grey. Okay. In the grey. And it's quite a lot darker here. This section here to differentiate the feathers from the body of the bird. I mean the wings from the body of the bird. Okay, and very fine line. Okay, so we're going to make it a bit more purpley here. It's a bit darker. Okay, maybe a tiny bit of. Can you still see? Okay, tiny bit of soft. Soft black, softly, not hard, softly, soft black. And there too. Okay, black is a very nice kind of, it's a neutral colour to work with, gives a depth. Makes the other colours stand out more. Okay, there we go. Right, 
how we're doing so far. Let's look at the overall picture. Right, I think we need a few more of these. This red brown in here. If you look, that's quite a reddish brown wing. So you always go back to the bigger picture. There's just a bit of red brown in there. So you don't get lost in the in the detail too much. You always go from the one to the other. Detail and then the bigger picture. Detail and bigger picture. Okay. There we go. Put a bit of old rose on here. Uh, that old rose is quite light. Soft purple over it. Purple. Great. So we need. If my um colours get because I like to have the sharp edges. Can always push, try and push this paper down. Push on the one side. Okay, and if 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 one can't, then one just tears a little bit of the paper off. I must just remember that's. I have got another set, so I can always refer to the to the names of the colours on my other new set I bought. So I like to have work with this sharp edge of the one flat side just to bring in those that detail of the wings this is where i decided that the robin bird you see how nice one can get those lines this is where i decided that i had to enlarge this robin bird because of these wings and the detail one needs to put in here right and then also the same with my black i'm also going to just take off or you can take a section of the paper off and just also get turn it on its side so you get that nice line okay there the edge and then you put in the that those nice little textured feathered lines okay that probably layers of feathers okay girls so i think um but let me maybe add a little bit of punch, this family yun, just saying it in Afrikaans, vermilion. A bit of punch in there, because it is quite a reddish wing. Let's add a bit of this, make it look a bit richer. Right, yeah, that's nice. Okay, because it, there's a lot of it in there, so it's nice to repeat it, kind of becomes more harmonious with the rest of the bird okay can even add a bit here and there little bright sparks here and there okay so there we go is that okay all else fails we always if in doubt go to what and add a bit of highlight, that's always nice. What does that look like? A bit much there. And then softly we integrate. Where's this last color? Okay, so you get the idea more or less. And I'll just work a bit into it still till I'm happy. There we go. Right. Right, girls, and then a little bit darker there too. Nice. There. Okay, bring that definition in. So, is that okay? So this lighter orange. I think that's okay. Right, so the next wing is quite a bit lighter, that section there. So we're going to start with your 
yellow ochre number six. Put that like little stripes going down the texture. Okay. And then you're going to your, again, I'm going to take the Van Dijk Brown number nine and work on the edge. So we just carry on until we are quite happy and it looks like a nice feathered wing. It's got a bit of a curve in. Okay, there we go. I'm very excited to see your your robin birds. I've seen oh, some lovely ones already and two tonal ones with the bibs, the little red bibs. I got pictures sent to me. Oh, what a delight. Please, girls, send progress of your work. That's very encouraging for me. Makes me realize that you actually understand um, my tutorials. Because it is tricky multitasking, drawing and talking and videoing. So it is encouraging for me to see, to get some feedback. Right, can you still see? Yes. Excellent. There we go. Let's take that right up. So we want to differentiate this one. So we're going to take it. See there it goes down a bit. Put into into a bit of a the where's my pencil into some shading there that section goes into a bit of shading so let's see if we can get that right so this here that one that one that one it's a bit darker there hey oh. And for that to happen, we must make this one a bit lighter there. There we go. And here's a bit of a pointy bit sticking out there. It goes up, a bit of a pointy bit. Right. So more or less. Hey. Let's work into that. Here's our, our red-brown. Let's also just take this paper off. And so now we just see it's a bit redder on the top. So we're going to make it a bit redder there. Can you see this top section there? That shape there is a bit redder. Okay. This is a red brown, like a burnt sienna brown. Okay. There. And then here we're going to integrate it a bit. Uh, I hope I'm not talking too soft. Kind of going into my own right side of the brain zone here. Okay, then we lighten it again. And so we work into it. So I find it so sometimes it just gets a life of its own. It just comes together. Okay, so we go back, we look at it from a distance again. Now we see, ah, oh, that must be a bit darker and it's actually slightly curved. Let me take this paper off too, it's distracting. There we go. And it's slightly curved, it's got a slight curve, just to differentiate the feathers. Okay, and then it's slightly darker there. Okay, and then just bring those lines in a bit more. Okay, and then it's very dark at the ends, very dark. 
So now, let's see, right, before we know we're going to be finished. There we go, let's just lighten that a bit. There we go. Ah. Great, and some old rose. What does that look like? Okay, more or less. So let's move to those two there, and they've got lots of this old rose color. Number 20. And so we're just going to put those, those shapes tonal shapes of old rows in and then we're going to blend in our other colors great it's a bit sharper there okay oh i can see this needs to be a bit darker here let's put an ochre there we go a little bit light not too dark a bit of light we'll get back to that hey great so now let's put in a bit of purple where we put in the old rose. Don't worry, we'll go over it. That's quite dark there. We'll just use purple as an undertone. And there. Just bring out those shapes. And there. Right, and then blend that in a bit there. There we go. Bring in some ochre. Ochre here. Where those where these two fit um, wings where these two meet. That one and that one. There a bit of ochre brown to connect them. Okay. A bit of this fun dyke brown as well there we go bring in a bit of this lighter color at the top just bring in a bit more of the definition of the bottom one you can just use that also to integrate the two some gray definitely gray yes bring that nice diagonal shape there. Great. And there as well. Nice grey. Okay, going up. Let's work on these top ones a bit. How's it looking? Hmm. Okay. There we go. Okay, more of this um, old rose. Press a bit harder to bring it out again. Okay, let's put some more grey there. A bit of this Van Dyke brown too. Darken it there. Okay, this is very much darker, so let's... That's see that section there's quite dark here. Very much darker. And then there get that wing coming up. And just bring a bit more definition in there and up there to very softly. Okay. And then that does go. Okay, that's going to be quite dark there. I think I, oh, I went a bit over this. Oh, but that is darker there. So we're going to just blend that in. Great. Take this black up there. Up there. Make it a bit darker there too. See, that is quite a bit darker there. 
that that section there can you see that section there is a bit darker that ring yeah there we go and it goes a bit in there and then there Great, and then we just highlight that a bit more. That there. There we go. Where's this colour here? Bring that in a bit more there. And then just a... Oopsie, can you girls see? Oh, there we go. We're almost done, girls. Almost, almost. Almost there. Great. So we're just going to do a bit integrate everything a bit more here there we go a bit more there softly go over that with soft strokes not too hard so it's not too dark okay let's just use this, this brown a bit there we go that's the right color softly softly okay that definition there softly down here can you see yes softly darker yeah that's quite a uh, a warm color there so maybe I'll softly go over this white I did whiten it oopsie where's my little scraper went too dark I did um, tissue I did lighten it it's a nice warm highlight There we go. And this is definitely more pinky. I think we're almost done. Mm -hmm. Great girls. You can always go back to it at the, in the end and just see what still needs to be done right at the end. Look at the bigger picture. And then that's a bit darker there. Just a bit too, there's a little pointy bit there. A little pointy bit. There we go, which is also quite pinkish. Which kind of integrates with that a bit. Great girl. So um, let me just round these feathers off here a bit. Okay, so that top bit will be integrated with the tail end. And then this next bit is quite, so there's a definite line there. And there's more kind of pointy, feathery ends. The ends of the, of the wings, which we will just kind of integrate with some old rose right so we can have some definite definition of that this is the end bits of the feathers okay but like I said we can always go back to it in the end it goes like there, down, there, down. So it actually goes there, goes there, then it's more here. Hey, so that needs to be a bit longer. See that shape? It curves, and then it goes like that, and like that. So it curves, and then it's more like that. Okay. That angle. And then there's a long bit there, and then there's a pointy bit. 
right and then we just want to kind of add a bit of highlight in those end bits to show that the feather goes right to the end bit Right, those lines continue. That is more or less. Great girls. So that was the end of your A, B, C, D tutorial 3D. The color blending of the wing and the tummy, well the tummy was C and the wing was D, tutorial 3C and that is 3D. Okay, wonderful girls, so looking forward to seeing, to chatting and color blending with you next time. Goodbye.